Hi, and welcome to Fly or Die. I'm John Biggs. I'm Jordan Crook. And today we are talking about Canary. Canary. Canary is a home security system that's all packaged into one thing. We've covered it exhaustively on TechCrunch.com, but the idea is that you can get air quality sensors, you can get a smoke detector, you can get live streaming video, motion detection, all of this stuff packaged into one kind of Wi-Fi connection. you have this all set up in your home? Package. I have it set up in my home. And I think that the biggest question right now, and something that Canary's going to have to talk about a little bit, is how they handle the situation of, because the idea behind Canary is that it's smart enough to figure out the difference between a nanny and your walking toddler and your dog and an intruder. And it's supposed to learn from everything that it sees. I think that the bigger issue is what are they doing with those little clips of information as they're learning about them? Do they go up into some cloud somewhere that can be hacked at some point in the future? Because that's something that terrifies me. Those are the biggest questions I have. Other than that, the quality though of the video itself and the you know the design of the app, um, they were just releasing it when I first got my review unit. It had a couple little issues when they were you know getting those beta releases out, but now it's working really smoothly and the design is really nice. So I'm all for this kind of you know, disruption and, and home security and what's happening there with Scout and Piper and others. And I think Canary's an excellent player. It's at 249, I believe now, mm -hmm. in like white, silver, and black or and something like that. Well, Scout's the other one. And there's also Drop Cam and Simply Safe and a bunch of other there's ones. There's all kinds of things that you can do to make your home smarter and safer. Canary to me is a good option. I'm going to give it a fly, like a tentative fly, because we're working on getting more information on what exactly they're doing to keep mm -hmm. our information safe. But wh where do you stand with all this? I enjoy these things. I mean, uh, as you say, these things are these things are disconcerting because that they can they can steal your information, they can follow you, and they can watch you naked and also the goofy stuff. Mm -hmm. Are they really doing that? Presumably, any any sane company, and we're not saying that Canary's sane by any stretch of measures. Any sane company is not going to look at your boobs uh, as you walk. That around. would be safe. Also, yeah. you have the opportunity with Canary to put it on like a privacy mode or in a way mode or a home mode, so it kind of knows the difference between what's going on anyway, and on privacy mode, all the video stuff is shut down. So right. um, I, I think it's a good option. I'm giving it a fly. If you like it, I'll give it a fly, too. I haven't, I've, I've used a couple of them. I use a Scout. I haven't used a Canary yet specifically in the house, uh, but I've you seen like it Scout? working. I like Scout. I like Scout, too. Yeah, so, we, so all of them are fine. All of them are working well. The privacy issue is obviously a big one. Uh, I don't know if I want that in my home. That's why all our drop cams are aimed out, essentially. Yeah. We're taking a look at Piper, too. So, we're, yeah. you know, this space is heating up, I guess, is the point of what we're kind of getting at. And it'll be interesting to see how things go into 2015 in home security and tech. But so there you have it. Two flies for the canary. The Ooh. canary flies with both wings. Wow. I'm John Biggs. I'm Jordan Crook. Thanks for watching.